Riftbound is a lane defense game set in a fantasy world. So it's kind of a, a world full of hidden magic where you as the player, you're in this big enchanted forest and you, you're kind of at the level of the creatures. So we tried to make like everything oversized, like massive trees and this sort of stuff. So you kind of feel like you're really in there. When I came on the project, um, James and team had a really strong vision, I think, beforehand. And it, it took me a while to get that vision. Because when I see a big battle, I just want to write big battle music, but that wasn't <laughs> what was needed. So the word we kept going back to was plucky. This sort of plucky thing gives it this kind of, it's almost this humour to the music. So it brings through a lot of humour, brings through a lot of magic, but also it gives it lots of room to grow as things get epic and as more enemies come in. So the battles in Riftbound, they become more intense over time, but even as that scales up, there's always these periods of calm throughout the battle. It's really important to have dynamic music that reflects what's on the screen, matching the intensity and danger at the time. The music style also has a technical purpose with the dynamic reactive music. As we went on, we discovered it really needed to react really quickly to feel right. In some of our earlier versions, the music had to wait to the end of that section and all those enemies were already halfway up the screen and the music was only changing then and it just didn't feel right. You know, as soon as a dangerous enemy enters the screen, you can really notice because we've got this extra layer of danger drums, I think we even called them, that just go on top of everything. So it's all, it's all structured into multiple vertical layers and also multiple horizontal layers. That helps us bring in different things at different times and just bring it all together when we need it. When the music starts in the level, it's kind of split into two halves and we had the calm section and the suspense section. So in each of those sections was split up into a further three sections and they could randomize and go to different ones just so they wouldn't get too repetitive. You know, when some enemies come in, we can get one layer of drums come in, we can get another layer of drums come in, or it can switch to the suspense section. Writing music for that was a bit like playing 3D chess because you need to make sure everything can hook up with everything else. One thing with the music that Hugh did that did change some of our development was the boss music. So initially we were planning to have more similar to the other levels, but then Hugh came to us with this kind of epic sound and in different stages throughout the boss battle. Because we introduce our boss, they appear on screen and we have this epic sound come, that comes in for all different for each of the bosses. And it really just made it feel like a boss fight. <laughs> I'm a big fan of layering my own voice with the choirs, like there are some sort of dwarvish <laughs> in the middle, so just hidden amongst those choir samples is me in this little room going <laughs> and probably annoying my neighbours. As game designers, we don't often know exactly what we want and we don't know how to evaluate the abilities of the composers. So it's super important for us that we get to see a portfolio that shows your range. Because if what we want isn't shown in the portfolio, then it becomes a bigger risk for us. It's really all about communication with the team you're working with and being really consistent with that communication. Going forward, something I want to do is Every, whether it's every Monday, every Friday, just make sure to put that message in the chat saying, you know, I'm up to this bit, bit behind with this bit, this is going well, I had this idea, just to make sure everyone's at ease, just to make sure the team knows you're on top of things, that you're invested and, and things like that. Riftbound is available on Steam to purchase right now. Yeah, so you can follow the game or us on Twitter, but we, we mainly hang out in Discord and we're quite active there. If you want to have a chat with the devs, you're welcome to do that. Yeah. And you can find the Riftbound soundtrack and some of my other work on streaming services, on Bandcamp, or you can uh, troll me on Twitter at Hugh Wagner. <laughs> <laughs>